Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey where I still have a headache. I didn't get a uh, uh, painkiller. That was dumb. Hopefully I remember after this. Anyway, I'm gonna wander around Lesbos actually for a little bit. Kind of see what's around here. But we'll probably go get Iokaste. Io or oh, Iokaste. Uh, the cultist lady because she's actually the closest. She's just on the island. Well, besides the guy who's like a little too high a level for me right now. Over here. Uh, but she's down here. So. And the daughters of Artemis are there. And there's still a death arrow quest that I... Oh, I know. Okay. So apparently in order to get the death arrows, you have to do the... Daughters of Artemis thing. It would be interesting if I... Did that. If the... If the daughters would be more amenable to talking, but I kind of doubt it. I kind of doubt it. Anyway. Just want to run around Lesbos for a bit. See what all is here. I don't think this area you can, like, really wander in. Okay, this area that's, like, shrouded in mist makes sense, I guess. Well, let's go over here. Oops. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, and we still have this, like... Yeah, we still have all this to figure out. Shoot, is that like sharks? Just a paw in the water. Petrified Valley. Interesting that it's always been called that. That's probably a fort. I probably don't want to mess with that. Or maybe I do. Haha. -ha. Let's see. If I can just like run through here. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, makes sense that there's snakes here. Where, 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 where? Whoa, well, there you are. Oh, go. You're everywhere. No, I wait, 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 wait. You moved. Did you see that? He teleported. It, it teleported our she, probably. She freaking teleported out of the ground. Ah. No, stop it. Oh, go. You guys are so mean, and if I don't time it right, then it, I'm screwed. Alright, so this is, a, this is a problem with uh, running around in Medusa's wilderness. Is snakes. <laughs> Who does that? My gosh, where? Oh my god. Ha! Stupid snakes. But if there's ever loot anywhere, I guess I could go back in and get that loot, but... I don't think there was anything, like, terribly awesome. I bet you if I break this, there's a snake in there. Ah. Hang on, okay. Ah. Come on, let me break it. Let me break the, the this thing. Ah. I can't break it. Usually I can break those. Okay, I guess not. I can pick it up. Oh, I should not still be using paralysis arrows, that's for sure. I got Spartan Bracers from that. If you're brave enough to wa- or stupid enough to wander in Medusa's wilderness, you might find treasure or dead. Oh, there's an outside. Let's see. I was kind of hoping for, like, more lore stuff, but... Like, in each of these, but I guess they give us little tidbits of lore. But man, like, Bryce just, like, went up in smoke. That was... This is, like, some monumental architecture that, like, most players probably won't see all of. Whoa. Was that just, like, a camera glitch? Or are we, like, experiencing an earthquake? Why does it always have to be brutalist architecture? Why can't we have nice things? Why can't 
like I was telling my friend a while back, I was like, so, you know, I've been playing, like, Mass Effect Andromeda and Odyssey and, like, all the, like, precursor, like, type races that are, like, super powerful, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, they all have this, like, brutalist architecture. And I'm like, well, what happened to ever, like, um, like, imagining the future with, like, curved lines and stuff like that, like... And maybe that's, I don't know, it just, like, you could look at it from a variety of ways, I guess. But I was just like, where it's like, you know, well, yeah, that's our idea of the future. And then, you know, so we create that, but then the ancients in the past, they were like, they knew, like, I don't know. It's almost like, it's almost like the, like, purely, like, angular geometric shapes are somehow, like, more superior than, like, curb soft lines, which you could tie all the way back to the fact that, well, not the fact, I guess, the, um, the idea that, like, curves equal softness, which equal, like, femininity, whereas, like, hard angles, like, obviously represent masculinity, and therefore is more, you know, you could tie back to that, more intelligent, blah, 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 more, you know, forward thinking in the future, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. Hang on. Oh, I don't have the perk anymore, I think. Hang on. Do I? Um, hang on. I don't think I do. Oh, but I didn't kill you. I can't make you my friend, but I didn't kill you. Okay, cool. That's nice. Anyway, yeah, it's like kind of weird. I almost just tried to jump off this and fly like you do in Breath of the Wild. It, it's it's an interesting, it's an interesting um, sort of philosophical exercise that has a lot of uh, application in the real world. Seeing like why certain, even just types of architecture are chosen and why certain like even just basic shapes are associated with like certain things. Um, this is creepy, and I also don't feel any sort of obligation to take care of it. Loot the treasure. Of uh, the bay? Oh, oh, hello. This man didn't drown. He was stabbed to death here on shore. And then burned? Waiting for... Hold on, what, what did the letter say? Whoops, oh, whoops! <laughs> I was trying to hit my options button. Anyway, it, it's, it's interesting how, how much certain perceptions of like masculinity and femininity will permeate society that you may not even realize. Bloody trail. Someone was like, dragged you, like, like that, the cliffs. That like, people may not be aware of. That like... An art dealer. His friend hired Cassandra to track him down. Uh, no, you didn't. But thanks. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, shoot. Come on. Lifted his hawk bay to the skies, and I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. Oh, this would have been the sword he used to cut off her head. Like a jerk. She was not bothering anybody. She was just minding her own business. And Percy was like, well, I mean, I guess Percy didn't, like, seek her out. It was to, like, save his mom from, like, a terrible marriage. But still. Do I have? Yeah, Amazon, Amazon. I have the, yeah, the full set. Okay. Yeah, I don't care. I don't want to do that. I want to actually, like, talk to people, funnily enough. Like look at I wanna I wanna I wanna see the people that live here. On this island. So let's go have a look. But yeah, I was I, back sort of back to the architecture thing. It's like I just wish we had more like futuristic societies where like or like um like I guess futuristic y sci fi -y type things, but from like the past, you know, like the ancient past sci fi stuff, whatever. Um, that, like, embrace more of an organic look. Like, a natural, like, curved lines, like, spiral shapes. I guess kind of Elven-esque, but, like, I'm also kind of picturing, like, a Meet the Robinsons type thing, where it's, like, 
future is not just or like the the superior like you know species or peoples or whatever aren't you know it's not like oh yes science has like shown us that the, this is what the universe is and, like the universe is like a huge chaotic entity and like trying to like put it into a tiny brutalist box is just such a disservice to like all the things that could be like you know what i mean Anyway, this is Philosophy Hour with Rabbit Squirrel. Hope you enjoyed. I have a headache still. Uh, uh, I just wish we had more variety. And I'm sure there are things that some people might like, get on and be like, Oh, well, let me tell you about this thing that's cool, futuristic -y and not, you know, brutalist or whatever. And if you do, please... By all means, tell me, because I would like to see more examples and not live in a pit of... Brutalist architecture is fine. It's fine. It's just not what everything I want to see. I like a variety. Oh, this is a bandit fort. Jeez. Watch here. They got a whole fort. Where are all the Amazonians? I was hoping to find Amazonians. Are they not? Are they not get to meet any? I've been really looking forward to this place. Hello, camper. Do you know any Amazonians? I see these rocks, and I want to pick them up and find Koroks under me. It's a problem. Breath of the Wild's a sickness. Oh, crap. Please, no. I don't, I don't want to bother you. You don't want to bother me. Also, I'm kind of avoiding climbing this wall because it's raining. In Breath of the Wild, you try to climb a wall. you like, it doesn't work. Did I? What? Wasn't there a, I was heading towards a point that I didn't have. My like. Oh, okay. Okay, so my my freaking recording glitched for a second, but since I had to restart stuff, that gave me the opportunity to go get some pain pills for my brain. So that's nice. I looked at some of the achievements, by the way. You know, right? Oh, well, hey, look, that's right. Oh, I remember, though. Oh, wait. There was... There were a couple here. Maybe they were associated with the Medusa thing, and I, I no longer have the chance to do them. Um. Mm. I don't really want to do that one. I mean, maybe it would be what I want it to be, but I don't think it's going to be, so. I'm gonna just go wander around, look around. I think I've mentioned before, probably, but I do kind of, like, I don't do this while I'm recording, but I really do enjoy just kind of, like, wandering around looking at stuff in the game. And I still haven't done the Origins, uh, like, academic tour or whatever it is. Um, shoot, I can't remember. The, like, guided tour, essentially, that they have for, uh, like, Egypt. And then they have one for Odyssey as well. Oh, I'm kind of hoping we'll get news about... I know we don't get... We don't get an Assassin's Creed this year, which is a bummer, because usually my uncle will give me $50 for my birthday, and I use that to buy the next, um, Assassin's Creed game, because it comes out in, like, November-ish. Uh... Like, they, they've come out anyway in, like, November, like, late October before. But, I am glad that we're not getting, like, inundated with... Like, I remember for a while when it felt like COD, like Call of Duty, you know? Where it was like, an Assassin's Creed Ubisoft game every year. Okay, you know, okay, the thing about Call of Duty here, Ubisoft, is that freaking... The game is like five hours long, you know, like, and then the latest one, they didn't even put a, a narrative mode or whatever you want to call it. And they, it's just the multiplayer, and I'm like, it's a multiplayer game. I mean, you could put a bazillion, gajillion hours into it, but it's not like you're, like, 
I don't know, it's, it's a different sort of requirement, like, where, like, you want to, like, level up or get better gear or whatever, like, depends on, I guess, I don't know, Call of Duty is, like, kind of much like a random number generator, isn't it, where, like, you get random drops, or you can pay a lot of money to be good, something like that, but, anyway, these games, Ubisoft games, especially Assassin's Creed, <laughs> is a game that I have almost put 80 hours into and I'm not done. You know, like, it's... And people put, like, hundreds of hours into this game. But it's like, I think it's more demanding in a way? Like, I don't know, not demanding. I, I play Overwatch, like, I play multiplayer games, and they're demanding in their own way. This looks different. But, like, I don't know. Like, the, the emotional, I guess? Um... Not baggage, but the... Oh, well, okay. Oh, I do? Well, yeah, I need tablets. I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight. Uh, is this my crouch button? Or is this my crouch button? What's my crouch button? It's... That's my crouch, really? Yeah, I see you, wolves. Yo, can I just run around and, like, steal your treasure? Wait, what? Did I just see a civilian? Soldier? Are you... Oh, you need help! Oh, oh my, oh! I didn't need... I was like, is there, like, a civilian I have to, like, kill or something? Oh, she's a pretty lady. Let's help her. Let's see if I can do it without killing them. I say that, though. But it's actually really difficult because the animals do a lot of damage to me. <laughs> Okay now. Get get off the thing. Oh, it's gonna make me. Oh my gosh. Um. Oh my gosh. That's just mean. You're so dumb. You were so dumb being stuck out here by wolves. The beast. The teeth. Too many they teeth. actually don't have a ton of teeth. I mean, you saved me in my work too. A cure for the statues in the petrified. Wait, what? Mountain. You can reverse the effect. Price. My elixir can. What? I mean, not yet. Oh. I'm trying to reverse the effects of petrifaction by concocting an elixir of various ingredients. Give it to me. A friend of mine was recently turned to stone. I can't. I don't have all the ingredients. But if you could get them for me. I could give you a violent wait, 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 I'll gather but what you But Bryce need. exploded. Excellent. Now listen closely to these ingredients. I require a cluster of bear dung mushrooms, some cone snail bile, and a bouquet of hellebore. Cone snail bile? Medusa was alive and causing the petrification. I was able to enter her lair and slay her. So, there will be no more people turned to stone. Medusa? She was real? It matters not. What matters is saving the poor souls presently trapped. My elixir can save them. I know it. Uh, what do you mean? How do you... How did you figure this what out? What is a hellebore? Hellebore is a flowering plant you can find growing atop the highest mountain in Vineyard Canyon. Where can I find these mushrooms? They grow on fresh bear Oh, nice. There's a cave in the mountains south of the road to Mitilini where you can usually I've find them. I've actually seen those. Like when I'm when I'm surveying for work, mushrooms or yeah, mushrooms that are growing out of like cow dung. Where can I find cone snails? 
cone snails are drawn to the warm currents of the eastern shoreline. My favorite spot is Barsark Bay. Make sure the bile is fresh. How do you get, like, are you talking like bile, like, from their, like, I'll go collect your ingredients. Glands? Come to my workshop on the hill east of Mitilini when you have everything. Mitilini is, like, in the area, right? A cave, a mountain, and the shoreline. Could these items be in three more different places? Thank you for saying what everybody is thinking right now. Like, for reals. Okay, Hunter Bow, where's the tablet? I was... Uh, there's not like an underground part of this, is there? And Icarus should be able to see it. Ah! I was totally just gonna run by and like steal the stuff and go, but it's a good thing I saved that lady. She didn't have a quest marker on her head until I saved her, so you could be like running past and be like, it's just a civilian, I'm busy. And then, and then it's actually a quest to revive petrified people! Four, I just got four Asian tablets. That's awesome, actually. I was listening to a podcast, an archaeology podcast, and I was, um, Andrew Reinhardt was being interviewed, and he's, uh, got a lot of... Look at these vineyards. Vineyard. Even Marcos couldn't make shitty wine with these grapes. Um. He's, uh, kind of the person who's been, like, spearheading archaeo gaming stuff. And, which is just like archaeology, like in representation in video games, like doing archaeology in video games, um, the archaeology that is in video games, like you know, like basically all the the Assassin's Creed games are like gold mines. But they had they, they had some interesting points on uh, Odyssey about how like apparently like I think the Parthenon doesn't actually have the the I think it's the Stella or whatever the like uh, crown decorations essentially like on the outside like plaster up at the very top like up at the triangle section uh the parthenon has its own special unique like uh art up there and the art that is actually there in the game is belongs on the temple of zeus um like stella what are we going to do don't worry it's curable what's wrong my workers are sick at this rate, I won't be able to feed my own family, never mind theirs. The good news is, this isn't the work of the gods, but a sickness of the body. The throat in particular. I could treat the workers, if I had my medical supplies. Mistios, would you get them for me? Sure. If you'll pay my fee, the health of your workers depends on it. I'd have hoped the well-being of these people would be payment enough. I'm a yes, yes, of I'm course. I'm a mercenary. You. Will you do it? Like, if you wanted somebody to run an errand, I'll find your supplies. Excellent. Get an errand person. My tools are in ancient pearl, and the drugs are in lovers. Bay. Why? Why are they? There? Ancient pearl is pretty big. Where exactly did you leave your tools? In the clinic at Vrisa Fort. That's more. That's just, why didn't you say that? You're like, here's a region it's in instead of the actual building it's in. Where exactly in Lovers Bay should I look? At the leader house in Midilini, northeast oh, of the crap. temple. I don't think I'm allowed in there. I'll come back with your supplies. The faster you do, the sooner I can help the workers. Uh, I don't know if they're married or not. Camera, the medicine woman. Also, let's bring up a good point. The fact that she, uh, I, I feel like she might actually be a real person. Like a real, like camera, the medicine woman seems like she's like an actual ancient, like doctor, like medicine woman. And she's kind of of the, uh, it sounds like the, um, oh my gosh, not Hippocrates. Oh, you know who I'm talking about the doctor guy. Wow, my brain, I, my brain hurts. I, it's been a long week. <laughs> forgive, forgive me. Um, but she obviously is like it's not. I'll go get the tools and drugs. It's not the work of the gods, she says. It's the, it's just a sickness of the body. So like, it's sort of sacrilegious what she's doing. Kind of like um, starts with an H. Why? I swear. Oh my gosh. I can't. Why, my brain? Why? 
Anyway, these seem like interesting quests. I'm gonna look her up at, at the end of this episode and see if she's a real person. Like, an ancient practitioner. An ancient Greek practitioner of medicine. But also that she's a woman in a time when that was not as common. I mean, you have priests and priestesses, right? Like, you have priestesses that would practice, air quotes, medicine. But, like, you know, that was, like, the whole, like, uh, you gotta sleep with the snakes and have a dream or whatever. The... Because it was the gods that were doing this, not, like, just, you know, that's what sickness was back in the day. And that's what so-and-so, insert name here, was trying to... The mountain. The hellebore should be here like, somewhere. Like, combat, essentially. Why do I gotta hurt the wolves? I don't wanna hurt the wolves. Hang on, hang on, guys. Can I... Can I do this? Oh, Okay. Oh, I can't, I can't use, oh, there we go. Okay, this is gonna take too long. I don't wanna kill the wolves. I don't like doing that. Oh, hey, my, my Gorgon spear. It has 25% damage versus animals. These wolves just up here on the top of a freaking mountain, minding their own business, and I'm like, yo, what's up? And I pop up, and they're like, yo, we came up here for a reason, to be alone, so we're gonna kill you now because you walked right into our house. And I'm like, that's fair, but unfortunately, I'm a human. Is that a hot spring? Or a fire down there? I'm a human, and I destroy everything I touch. Like I'm closest to that. Ugh. Come on, it's so weird. I don't take fall damage. It reminds me of being in the like uh, in the fort in um in Inquisition. That's the only place. Skyhold was the only place you could go where you could jump off and not die. It was great, honestly. Everywhere else it made sense. And it was never anything like excessive. Mm. The shipwreck. The cold snails Holy must be close lovely. by. like brush by you and you're dead I'm like yo no I, like if it rips off my arm fine but I don't well maybe okay maybe I could see from shore maybe I could see from like if I use Icarus I could see it from shore oh good I think when I'm level 49, I'm gonna go, well, okay, never mind. I should, I should probably go kill the cultist that's closest to me, but I am looking forward to killing the guy in the fighting arena. That's gonna be fun. It's gonna be, it's gonna be cool to finish. I think that'll finish it off, honestly, but I, there might be one more. There might be like one other person. Oh, jeez. okay. Actually, as work with my arrows, but my arrows only go so far in the water. Yeah, I need like a raft to get out there. Unless I swim up here to this and stand on that without them noticing. The shipwreck. Bone snails must be close by. Come on, please. Hey, whoa. Come on. Okay. No ah. one's oh my gosh, I'm gonna scream. Oh, nice. 
They have to like be at a certain angle, otherwise I'm gonna hit the. I keep hitting. Oh no. Ah! Come on. Oh my gosh, Cassandra, why are we having a hard time with this? I'm in the stream. I just keep hitting. Oh jeez. There we go. If this other one wasn't stuck here, that would be great. Alas. It is stuck. Well, maybe it doesn't work in my favor. Am I not close enough? Oh, okay. Oh, there, I freed it. You're welcome. Now that it's free, maybe I can do my cheat here. I'm gonna just throw myself off the cliff. Oh my god. Oh. Uh. Oh, jeez. Get off. I guess I could have run in and like stolen it. That wouldn't have been bad. I forget that sometimes that I don't have to kill the things, but it can make things easier. <laughs> oh, you know what this quest is? This quest is, is designed to run you all over the place so you have to explore. Which is what a lot of these quests are about. Which, I mean, they made a huge game. It's fair that they want to use it, right? Like, there's... There's probably not, like... I don't know. I don't know how many players, like, actually, like, really want to, like, explore every nook and cranny. Because that's something I would enjoy doing. Honestly, if I wasn't recording, I would probably be a little more, like... Paying attention to what's like, I don't know, in the area, the like the history of the area. Like, I'd probably be stopping a lot more and looking things up, but I don't want to have to edit that out. <laughs> and I don't necessarily know if people will be interested in me, like, stopping all the time and be like, let me explain all this to you. There's a lot of people who have played this game, maybe not a lot, but a lot of people who have commented anyway, which is, you know, not everybody who views, but they, they do seem like people who know what they're about where it concerns, like, Greek history, so, which is cool. I probably should have, uh, done some reading or something. This is the right area. The cave with the mushrooms Like, I, you know, I have, like, close. the basic stuff, but, like, like, the basic knowledge of this sort of a thing, of Greek history, but, oh, wait, I was, I was in this cave earlier. No, 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 I was not. I feel like I can just run in there, pick it up, and be good to go. Oh, there's the mushroom. Oh. Oh. oh, I have to be, okay, cool, okay, well, I guess it's time to murder you. Fire, it's fine. I don't mind. 
I'm really- Why? 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 Why doesn't that do like a lungy, leafy thing? Just let me pick some mushrooms. Anything else that I care about? No. Anyway, I should probably call this episode here before it gets too long because I almost forgot that I had some issues and I had to record this in two parts and I don't want it to be like 45 minutes long, but it probably is. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. As we get to kind of run around Lesbos a bit more. Um, I really need to get like a collection of her bow tree. Anyway, thank you all for watching again. I do appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.